on live at six. <laughs> the funeral for a one-year-old boy turns into chaos. Emotions ran high during the funeral for Christopher Thomas today. Police say Thomas was killed by his aunt. Michael George was at the funeral home when that fight broke out this morning. And Michael joins us live with the latest. Michael, very sad situation. It is my Christopher Thomas was just 13 months old and in his short life he saw more violence than anyone should see. And today at his funeral a fight broke out among his family members. <laughs> Christopher Thomas never got a proper funeral. This brawl between family members ended the service early, even as his great grandparents pleaded for people to stop. No, 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 no. But seconds later, it started again as family members blamed each other for the infant's death. Before I knew, everything just exploded. Christopher's father was hurt in the brawl. What got lost in the chaos today was that Christopher himself never had a chance to escape the violence in his family. The Logans had tried unsuccessfully to adopt him. When he smiled, he had uh, two dimples, two dimples on each side right here, and he was, oh, he was happy. A few mourners stayed after the fight. They wanted to make sure Christopher at least had a peaceful burial. Saying goodbye to Christopher and yeah. hoping that the family could have some closure too. Now, Christopher's aunt was arrested for his murder, but we never got an answer from Child Welfare Services as to why the abuse was never caught. I spoke to a spokesperson today, and they tell me they can't comment because of privacy issues. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Michael George, today's TMJ4. So many sad aspects to this story. Michael, thanks a lot.